Good afternoon. My name is Im Hebin. I'm a professor of Gwangun University. And now, now we are in the pandemic situation, and my research team developed the tools to evaluate the city brand image. And what is a city brand? Before, many speakers shared the, de the definition of a city brand. And briefly speaking, city brand is the identity of that city. Then how do people evaluate the identity of the city? In psychology, when people hear the name of the city, they use the information in their heads. So when they hear the name of the city, they bring up some associated images, and that is the identity of the city. And based on the characteristics of the city, it would determine the positive or negative image of the city. And that is why major cities in the world are building branding strategy based on the slogan and logo. And most of the people think of public relations when we when they hear city branding. However, the beginning of the city branding was the, the awareness or the status of the city. And it was first used in the study. So the researchers around the world have thought about the measures to evaluate the city brand. And survey is the most representative way and today we listened to uh, Dr. An Holt, and he was one of the renowned scholars who developed the evaluation tool. And we call it measurement. And measurement explain the characteristics of each indicator. So for example, we uh, consist the survey of sentences such as this city is safe, and this is, uh, city is clean and the respondents answer according to the statements. So we ask questions about the nature of the city, and we include the nature on people's recognition, and the recognition is changing with the time. And Mr. Acker also stated that the evaluation changes based on situation or environment. And you can think of the detergent. When, when you think of detergent brands, you would think about eco-friendly factors of the brands. However, eco-friendly was not a, an important indicator only about 10 years ago. However, now eco-friendliness is an important indicator and measurement to, uh, e to examine the image of the brand. Then what would be the focus after the COVID-19 crisis? And what kind of characteristics will become the important indicator? In 2020, many media and researchers talk about post-pandemic city brands, and people will focus on health, technology, and environment. In business researches, the focus of city brand will be changing. And before, we focused on tourist destination factors and investment opportunities. However, after pandemic, hygiene and control against disaster and virus will be important factors. And how much efforts they are making for the health of the citizens, it, it will be the new criteria. In July this year, Korea released the New Deal policy for Korea. And it is in step with our study. Digital New Deal was one of the axes, and Green New Deal was also included, and safety net reinforcement will, is also included. So these are the major factors for CD brand evaluation as well. And I talked about the new evaluation tools for CD brand after the pandemic crisis. So important factors are changing with the time and the evaluation tools should be changing as well. So based on this concept, we thought about 
the healthy city and technological city and environmental city. And we developed new tools and measurements. And based on these measurements, we surveyed what is global people's recognition on Seoul. So we had three steps for development. And the first step was literature analysis and what are the important and necessary measurements for city brand evaluation. And second, we looked at the competence of the city, which was neglected in the past, but it is getting attention these days, which are health, tech, and environment. And the last step, we secured and confirmed new questions about the survey. And we included 1,043 adults living abroad. And it was an online survey conducted for 15 days. And they answered our questions we developed. And the gender proportion was similar between two uh, genders and we also looked at we also uh, took the age into consideration and we had North America South America and Europe and Asia and other continents and about 40 percent of the respondents have visited Seoul before and since we need basic information basic awareness of Seoul we also asked how much aware, awareness they have on other major cities such as New York and Beijing. So six means they know about the city very well, and one it means that they don't know at all. And about Seoul, their uh, point was 3.4, which is about the median. And their awareness of Seoul and their awareness of other major cities in the world were similar. So Seoul can be called a city which is very well known on the global stage. So these are the examples of the measurement. And these are 15 statements we finally confirmed. And these are 15 sentences are called PCBM, which refers to the post-pandemic city brand measurement. And I will keep calling it a PCBM throughout the presentation. And they have five categories. And this category represents five competences of the cities. And each competence is analyzed in more detail through sentences. So safety measures the competence to keep the city safe. And in case of Seoul, we uh, changed the sentence into Seoul is capable of protecting its visitors or people. And for environment, we looked at how much efforts the city is making to harmonize the environment with people. And for health, whether the health, uh, whether the city is equipped with the quarantine uh, quarantine capabilities, and whether the technology is trustworthy, and in case of tech category, we looked at the development level of infrastructure and how much the city is open to new technologies, and for culture, how much appealing culture is there in the city. So looking at the table. Uh, we uh, re wrote the median points for Seoul. So the full score is a 6. And in general, most of the categories recorded more than 4 points. That means respondents have positive images about uh, uh, Seoul's competences on each category. So we asked all the respondents this question. What comes to your mind first when you hear the name of Seoul? When we asked this question, there are various uh, answers. And based on the keywords, we made a word cloud. And so it, as it was mentioned more frequently, it was written bigger. So we have technology and we have tourist attractions, and we have K-pop, 
which are related to the cultural competences of Seoul. And the result of word clouding shows the competences of Seoul in each category. And PCBM analyzes the detailed competences of each category. So it will help us evaluate the city in general and how much attractiveness is there for Seoul by uh, the, for the respondents was measured. And these figures represent the score for each category, and they are correlation coefficients. So for example, the statement, I like Seoul, and it is correlated with technology on the point of 0 0.468. And for culture, the coefficient was 0 0.569. That means if people give a higher score to culture category, they are more inclined to like Seoul compared to people who gave higher points on technology. So I don't have time to go in too much details, but if they say, I like Seoul, I trust Seoul, and I have intention to visit Seoul, and I have intention to recommend people around me to visit Seoul. So these were sentences we used. And we also found out that all the results had a positive result with each category. So simply put, there are five competences, and all these five categories are related to the positive image or awareness of the city itself. The purpose of the study was to measure the major competences after the pandemic crisis, and we found out that PCBM had a certain relationship with the city brand personality. And Mr. Fiske said that we have two fundamental questions when we measure, when we evaluate people. How warm is this person and how capable is this person? These are the two fundamental questions. Warms and competences are the major factors to determine respect, jealousy, or sympathy for that certain people. And it will impact our attitude toward those people. So marketing researchers say that brands are recognized as people to others. So in this context, when people evaluate a city brand, they will consider city brand a person instead of something vague. That's why we looked at city warmth and city competence. So with this logic, we measured what is the people's recognition on Seoul's warmth and competence, and how it, do these two are related to our, our five competences. So out of six, we measured the result, and if it is uh, close to six, it means that people think Seoul is a warm city. So it is about 4.66. And for competence, it is a 4.78. So Seoul is recognized as a city which is warm and competent at the same time. So we included New York, Paris, Tokyo, and Beijing together in the table. So the result for four other cities is not very different. It is a minimal margin of 0 0.02. However, Beijing is lagging behind in warmth. So we didn't measure the detailed competences of each city, but that is why we don't know the detailed reason why this result took place. However, the, however, the, the result supported our uh, hypothesis, and that is enough for us. And these are the five categories once again, and we looked at the correlation coefficients. So all the five competences were related to 0 0.5 level with warmth, and it also have a positive correlation with competence as well. 
So if the city is warm and competent, they all get higher score on five categories. So in case of environment, it is more related to warmth. And in case of technology, it is more related to competence rather than warmth. So based on the Based on the indicator, the image of the city could be different. The result could be different. But to evaluate the iconic uh, characteristic of the city, we need further research. So let me wrap up my presentation. Our research looked at post-pandemic crisis and we developed new evaluation tools for city brands. And we developed the new city brand measurement to find out that security and environment and hygiene will be the important factors in the future. And in case of Seoul branding, I believe that Seoul achieved a lot in terms of awareness. When we compare Seoul to other major cities in the world, it is not lagging behind, and it is recognized as a warm and competent city. But now, out of these competences, we should find a differentiator and how we will build and deliver this identity, this qualitative uh, research is needed. And global citizens are paying attention to new competences, and Seoul is equipped with those competences. This is the end of my presentation, and thank you very much.